Um, on page 14, five banners. At the bottom of that paragraph, um, fabric wind socks driven by air pressure are included as banners. So they are included as a uh, temporary type sign. Page 15, um, there was an omission that has been discussed before on uh, prohibited permanent signs, B, rotating signs, barber poles <coughs> should be there. So barber poles are a type of, uh, I'm sorry, excluding barber poles. So barber poles are excluded from being prohibited. Rotating sign? Yes, sir. And that, that, again, that's, you know, it, you all agree with that. But that is, is not in your draft, so I want to make it clear that that should be there. Okay. Um, and I believe that was the last change that uh, was recommended through the review over the past two weeks. Now, um, I mentioned that the, this, I worked on a comprehensive plan, and that was a guide that we use to develop your, your ordinance. It's important that your ordinance is something about the county. It's not just a generic ordinance. And I want to make that clear. But this, this was developed using your comprehensive plan as a guide. And it was used with local people who are going to be affected by it by, with their input. So it is tailored to the county. And it, we, because it's an amendment to your zoning ordinance, the procedures of the zoning procedures law were followed in, in the review and uh, hopefully adoption of this ordinance. So if you have any questions about any of these specific changes or recommended changes, I'd be happy to try and appeal to you. I'm fine, Paul. I just have a couple of uh, decisions the board are going to have to make on the, uh, first of all, how many, first of all, I'm glad to see that the contemporary sign shall not require a permit. And uh, I think previous uh, title was by a permit a fee. Uh, the board's going to have to make a decision, though, as to how many flags of various countries, states, or political subdivisions are to be allowed. We've got a choice of three, five, seven, unlimited, or other options. So we have to the board to make a decision as to how many uh, flags of various countries, states, and political subdivisions will be allowed in this ordinance. Before we wrestle with that thing, can we go back to the temporary signs for just a minute? Sure. For clarity. This guy on the last line of temporary signs, it's temporary signs should not require a permit and may not be located in any commercial, and may be located in any commercial district. However, I mean, there's, as I read that, I mean, it, 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 it talks about banners, and then when you go to the banner section, which is a temporary sign, the, the number of days there is 14, so if it's going to be 14 in one place, I think it should be 14 in the other, unless somebody on the board has a, an objection to that. And then the other thing is, on the banner section, we are requiring a permit, and we are requiring a fee to be set by the director of planning. And I think that's probably a... I mean, the only way we're going to keep up with how long the sign is up is if it's permitted. And I think it's just not as a, as a revenue measure, but as a, as a fee to cover the cost of compliance that, that you ought to have to pay a small fee and register your temporary sign. Otherwise, how are we going to know when a sign is temporary? And I mean, and that would make it uniform with the banner section. We're calling temporary signs, and banners are falling underneath temporary signs. Am I messed up? Am no, I, I, I agree you? completely. That's how it started out, and that was the staff's recommendation to be able to <coughs> track of the temporary signs. Mr. Chairman, well, I think, yes, well, I'm the one that suggested the temporary signs based on some comments in the public hearing y'all had last time. Uh, this is generally related to when a business has a, 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 a sale or something like that. And, and, and this language here, uh, temporary sign banners are included as temporary signs. And, and so um, I don't see there's a conflict, Mr. Murray, because of the language that says, including but not limited to banners is herein defined. Uh, the, you know, if you want to require them to have a permit, that's, that's fine. If you want to require them to pay money, that's fine. 
that's how you know. Um, but the idea is if somebody wants to have a safe Person wants to run a sale on pantyhose or TVs, and I think you ought to have the privilege or the right to put banners, flags, whatever it may be, and move that kind of you blow up. And, what do you call that? Paul? I'm not sure. Animated sound. Animated sound. Right. Uh, the board needs to make this decision. Well, I think seven days after the event is entirely too long, and I'm sure that was. But I'd like to point out there's two things. One is how long do you want to allow the temporary sign to go up? That's the first dash. And then there was then they need to remove it after the occurrence of the event is the second choice. And the reason we wrote the little agenda up was to just give you some guidance. I agree with Rick about the permit so you can keep track of the number of days. But I agree on it. I didn't want to charge my fee. If it's just a temporary, just a four or five day sale. Uh, but I think I'll ask the board what their decision would be on that and go according to what the board uh, recommends. I think any responsible business when the sale though is going to take it down anyway. Any responsible? That, that's the whole key. I mean, if we, if, if we were filled with completely responsible citizens, we wouldn't need traffic laws and we wouldn't need zone laws because people would mow their grass. But the reality is, is, is we live in a society. I, I, was, I, I found out a couple of weeks ago that we've got a law on the books that says how many dogs and cats you get on. I didn't know that. That seems like an infringement of liberty as I first considered that. But when we live in a society where we're clustered together and some people, you know, one man's art is another man's junk. One man's parking plan is another man's sign block. This is something that none of us ran for office to do so that we could sit down and write a sign. Um, I mean, in a, you know, if you want to get in trouble with the public, you sit down and write yourself a sign on once, and you can have plenty of people throwing rocks at you because they're easy. We make ourselves easy targets. But I do think that this is what good governments do. Good governments level the playing field. Good governments try to... Uh, you know, just like the front of the sign on it says, we're, we're here to partially to protect people's private property values. And the reality is somebody like a Dr. David Wren, who's come to Lee County, made a, a great investment down on 19 for his office. He keeps a beautifully manicured yard. He's got a very tasteful sign. And he does it right. And nobody has to tell him to do it right. But next door, you know, he can have somebody move in that puts in 17 ground signs if we don't regulate it, could put six dancing guys if we don't regulate it, and could keep them up 52 weeks a year if we don't regulate it. And he'll think he's having the best marketing plan around. You know, I'm, I might be the only person on this board that's gotten a ticket for a sign violation. I've spent money on signs that I can't use because they're in violation of a sign ordinance where I have a business. So I understand the frustration. I understand that uh, that some people would consider this an infringement of liberty. 
But there's some liberties we have to infringe. We don't want people hopping around naked in front of the school, so we're infringing on their liberty not to do that. We don't want people, we don't want people creating sign blight, so we're infringing on their liberties to create a tasteful community. And I think to, to regulate it, to, 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 to take care of the process, we've got to charge a nominal fee. We've got to create a permit that's easy to get in a, in a place where it's easy to come and take care of it. But I think if, if you don't regulate temporary signs and put limitations on them and put a fee to cover the cost of printing the, the permit, <coughs> then, then, then we're backing up. We're not taking care of the business that we're trying to attempt to take care of. And again, the last thing I want to do is fool with the sign limits. It's minutia. It's, it's frustrating. And, it, and people, nobody wants to be regulated. But if we're going to live in a civil society, if we're going to continue to create a place where businesses want to come, then we're going to have to make our community look the way it needs to look. And I think we got to massage that. I'm not denying that. I agree with you. I still don't think we ought to charge a business for a seven-day or five-day sign permit that we pay taxes. I mean, I don't even know what the fee would be. There's no mention of the, the cost of the fee. Permit is necessary to the total number of daily. And what I understand, we can't amend this thing from time to right. time. Absolutely. If it becomes a problem, then consider the charge. I agree with Rick, we need to sign on this. It's, it's I'm necessary. Not, people, I'm not, I'm not people have a propensity for violating anything in the county. We see it every day. That's the reason we got code enforcement. But we so we're going to have a permit. I just can't see, I just can't see charging people. I'm, I'm okay with that. Okay. I'll agree. No, I'm not going to hang up on that. <laughs> but I do think we don't have enough. Huh? I've got the permit. We agree on the permit. If they're going to use it, they need to pay for it. Don't pass it on I mean, to somebody else. A nominal else. fee. Yeah. Five bucks. If somebody, if they're going to benefit from it, it should be passed on to the homeowner or somebody else. The cost of doing business. The cost of doing business. And we already got so much now it's passed on to other people that don't benefit from it. Are we going to just do these one at a time? Okay. On temporary signs, I, I'd say that we limit temporary signs to 14 days, remove within three days, that we have a permit, and we charge a nominal fee. I'll second that motion. All in favor? All opposed? I think we got to find a nominal fee. Yeah, I think so too. Um, and, and maybe what you want to do is say not to exceed X dollars. And somebody said five dollars. I don't know what the is. I don't have any feel for that at all. But I think it was just nominal fee is not. I think we got to do this. Okay. Well, that'd be something, Mr. Dad, before he goes to his office. It would be given him, I think. I, I, I would, uh, what do you call it, revise my motion. To, it's to remove nominal and put in a fee not to exceed $10. Second. All in favor? Three, one, three eyes, one day. So let me, can, I, can I read the last line to make sure we got it right? You got, well, I'll read the whole, um, no more than 14 days, move within three days after we've been Temporary signs shall require a permit and a fee not to exceed ten dollars and may be located in any commercial district. Right. Is that right? Is that right? Okay. That's right. Okay. Right. okay, the next uh, do we need to approve this next little chain right here? Right. We've already decided on the temporary signs, now we've got to make a decision on how many flags of various countries, states, and political. Seven, three, five, seven, a limiter of yard gunner.